Loïc Moran faces the daunting task of designing the complex propulsion units. They must be capable of propelling this enormous ship without compromising the comfort of the journey. The propeller design is unique for each uh, cruise ship. The challenge to design a propeller for uh, Meraviglia is uh, to, to reach uh, this uh, compromise between the propellers, efficiency and the negative effect which can generate uh, noise and vibrations on board the cruise ship. In 1907, during the sea trials of the British Ocean liner the Lusitania, engineers reported intense vibrations running throughout the ship. The cause was traced to the ship's propellers. This is the problem. When a ship's propeller rotates, it creates a vortex of low pressure behind the blades, made from millions of tiny air bubbles. This process is called cavitation. When these bubbles implode, they send out shock waves through the water, hitting the propeller and ship's hull. If enough bubbles implode at once, it can cause vibrations that run through the ship. These can create an uncomfortable ride for the passengers and crew. The standard of a cruise ship is very high, so we have to be sure that the, the ship will be quiet and with no vibrations and with no noise levels due to this propeller. With the stakes high for this giant new class of vessel, no off-the-shelf propeller design will work. So Luik has had to come up with a bespoke solution to ensure this vessel is their smoothest ship yet. To try and minimize cavitation, he has designed a propeller with five blades, perfected their shape, angle, and distance from the hull, and the speed at which they will rotate to make sure that the ship glides smoothly through the water. So we are using the most advanced propeller design tools in order to be sure that we are uh, supplying to the ship owner the best uh, propeller design over the world. Building such intricate propellers is no simple task. I love my job, for sure. I love to make the best propellers in the world. Workers cast the propellers from a special molten bronze alloy, a mixture of copper, aluminium, iron and nickel. The cruise propeller blades are very big blades. They cast the 25-ton propeller in separate parts, the blades and the central hub. Workers fill a series of boxes with resin-bonded sand to create the molds for the blades. What we do here is to put sandbox in front of the robot, and then the robot will be able to remove the sand and create the final shape of the mold. They must pour the molten alloy into the mold without stopping to avoid any imperfections that could compromise its strength. When we are pouring, it's very important that the material is going inside the part with the right velocity. Otherwise, we can have oxides or other kind of defects that will appear. It takes just minutes to fill the mold, but two days for the blade to cool and harden from over 1200 degrees Celsius. They remove the blade from its mold, then grind its surface smooth to make sure it glides through the water. A computer-guided rotating cutting head removes layer after layer of unwanted material. It's very important that we mill these propellers precisely, otherwise we can have big imperfections on the surface, and this will affect to the performance of the propeller and the passenger will be affected by that. It takes 25 hours for the robot to glide over the blade thousands of times, polishing away every last defect to avoid a bumpy ride. And when we achieve the delivery, we feel very well, all the team. 
Using propellers this large creates another big problem for engineers, keeping the ship maneuverable. The propellers on most ships are connected to the hull in a fixed position. To steer the ship, the captain uses a rudder. But this limits the vessel's maneuverability. For a cruise ship as large as Meraviglia, navigating through the tight ports at popular destinations would be near impossible. To solve this, the engineers must attach the propellers to two giant rotating thrusters, called azipods. These huge pods can spin round through 360 degrees. The rotating pods, together with small thrusters in the bow, should make controlling the ship much easier and allow this giant to breeze into the tightest of ports. Tipping the scales at around 170 tons, it takes 10 weeks to assemble a single azipod unit. The combined propeller and pod weigh nearly 200 tons apiece. Fitting them onto the vessel's stern will be a huge challenge. Any damage during the installation could set the entire project back by months. The azibot uh, for uh, Meraviglia is like uh, the legs. So if the legs are not working properly, the ship cannot sail properly in the sea. So it's uh, very, very important, uh, the alignment, uh, that everything is working uh, perfectly. The huge crane lowers the units down into the dock. Workers then carefully slide them underneath the ship before locking them into position. So up to now, the progress is uh, good enough. Everything is according to the schedule. With the pods attached, the hull of Meraviglia is finally complete. 